hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys who is the daddy is the simple question that uh gambari is asking uh boss mustafa as the battle to capture the number one position within the malambohari regime is now starting to simmer and uh, come to a crescendo guys i bring you this tcn md sack battle between sgf mustafa and chief of staff gambari heightens so it's of course off the back of the story that i did uh yesterday so this is a follow-on uh tcn md sack so that is the reason that has led to the battle and the title of this uh piece is battle between sgf mustafa and chief of staff gambari heightens so now let's now see exactly who the daddy is amongst these two the relationship between the secretary to the government of the federation sgf boss mustafa and the chief of staff to the president ibrahim gambari may have been severed owing to the sack of the former managing director of the transmission company of nigeria tcn usman mohammed mr mohammed was sacked following the approval by president mohammed buhari through the office of Mr. Gambari. In a letter, Mr. Gambari notified the Minister of Power of the presidential approval of the dismissal of Mr. Mohammed. He then directed that Suri Abdulaziz be installed as the acting managing director. By the way, that's another malam, so they've sacked Mohammed and appointed Abdulaziz. So where is uh, Tunde and where is uh, Adebayo? Where is uh, Uchinda, where is uh, Ngozi in all of the equations that is Nigeria? They don't exist anymore because we are now uh, uh, a colonized people effectively by these people. Actually, let me just take it from the top again so that it, it runs through. In a letter, Mr. Gambari notified the Minister of Power of the presidential approval of the dismissal of Mr. Mohammed. He then directed that Suri Abdulaziz, and by the way, they sacked Mohammed and replaced him with Abdulaziz. So where is Adebayo? Where is Uchenna? Where is Ungozi? Where is uh, by Mayowa and all that? So we are all now, or, or anyway, we know we are already subservient to these people now. So nobody of education and experience exists within the southern regions of that country anymore. So that Abdulaziz is always uh, replaced by Abu Bakr, who is then replaced by uh, Mahmoud and all this kind of business. But uh, Adebayo and Uchena, please stay in the kitchen and continue to cook for us. This is effectively the system that uh, Malam Buhari is running. Anyway, let's carry on. He then directed that Suri Abdulaziz be installed as acting managing director pending the submission of a substantive list for the board and executive management of the company. However, the decision did not go down well with Mr. Mustafa who felt the dismissal did not go through the right channel. Reacting to the dismissal, Mr. Mustafa released a circular on what should be the procedure for the removal of heads of public agencies in the country. Also, the SGF decried the arbitrary removal of chief executive officers, CEOs of government agencies and parastatals in the circular restating that no minister has the power to unilaterally uh, remove CEOs of agencies without going through the disciplinary procedure approved by the president for airing heads of agencies. He stated, when an act bordering on serious misconduct against a chief executive officer is reported, it shall be the duty of the supervising minister through the permanent secretary to refer the matter to the governing board for necessary action. According to the SGF, the board shall issue the alleged query requesting an explanation with respect to the specific act or acts complained about. The board shall issue the alleged query requesting an explanation with respect to the specific act or acts complained about. The board shall forward its findings and recommendations to the minister for further consideration and necessary action. Upon receipt of the submission from the minister, the secretary to the government of the federation shall without delay 
course an independent investigation and advise Mr. President on the appropriate course of action. Although the circular was not addressed at any ministry, it was gathered that, from all indications, the SGS directive was specifically targeted at the Minister of Power, like Kiari, like Gambari, so that's the next subheading, like Kiari, like Gambari. Similar to the directive given when late Abakari was his chief of staff, President Buhari has directed all correspondence to be channeled through his new chief of staff, Ibrahim Gambari. This particular directive was the genesis of the grouse of some cabinet members against the deceased who wielded so much power and influence in lieu of the directive, the removal of the TCNMD was a directive of the president, which was passed through Mr. Gambari to the Minister of Power. Meanwhile, in its reaction, the labor movement expressed shock on the circular of the SGF, insinuating that it was an attempt to restore the former TCNMD to office. In a letter to President Buhari, signed by the General Secretary Umar Abubakar, Duba Gari. So all of the names so far that we have mentioned uh, in governance have been just strictly Hausa Fulani names. So let's just go through again because this this is something that's not struck me. So they're talking about the sacking of uh, Usman Mohammed and the people involved are Mohamedou Buhari, Ibrahim Gambari, Bos Mustafa, and uh, and then of course uh we're now talking about uh, what's this other name now that we have landed on Umar Abu Bakar do bagari so i mean what is the uh, uh the yoruba man in all this equation where's the Igbo man in all this uh equation where's the south south man in all of this equation because all of these names that we have mentioned so far are all house are full any names anyway let's just carry on i'm i'm just highlighting that it's not something that you're not aware already the nepotism, the cronyism, and the tribalism of the Malam Bohari is next level. And we used to have something called federal character within the Nigerian governmental structure, by the way. And that federal character uh, states and stipulates that the government of the day, whichever government it is, must reflect the uh, uh, federal character, the public face of the country. That means everybody should be represented at every level. But uh, then, of course, uh, that's completely been jettisoned because, of course, the Constitution and anything that is not uh, for the House of Fulanese has just been jettisoned in this uh, particular uh, in this uh, particular administration, especially. Anyway, let's just uh, round it off. In a letter to the President, signed by the General Secretary Umar Abubakar Duba Gari, Labour declared that unions in the power sector would go on strike if sacked MD was uh, reinstated. Your Excellency is hereby notified of pending labor action by our Union and Trade Union Congress, TUC, in the unlikely event that the circular restores UG Mohammed to TCN and if the wrongful termination of our president is not reversed immediately so this is now labor now chiming in but really this is now is the battle for position really between uh abba uh i was going to say abba Kari, that's a freudian sleep isn't it because of course we are so used to saying abba Kari, but really it's the battle for position between now the the new man uh ibrahim gambari and the old stalwart boss uh, mustafa to see now who has the number one C within the uh, Buhari regime. Of course, we've already so Yemi uh, Osibajo is out of the question, and Buhari is convalescent because he's an ill man. So now, who now drives the country is effectively the battle that is going on now between Boss Mustafa and uh, the Gambari new man that's just coming as the chief of staff. So Gambari has now moved quickly now to cease charge of the office that he occupies, but uh Boss Mustafa is moving uh, quickly also to solidify and concrete uh, the positions that he has been trying to grab for himself in that gap between Abakari passing on and Ibrahim Gambari being appointed and uh, 
installed so of course there will be that gap for the duties that are carried out by uh uh, uh abakari so there'll be that gap between when abakari passed on and when uh, ibrahim gambari uh was uh, appointed and then installed into that uh, position so in that period it's similar actually to that six months that Buhari took to constitute a, a cabinet for 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 his uh, first term when they just went in and looted uh, the uh, country's treasuries for six months before then they constituted a cabinet so it's it's quite similar to that so now what this boss mustafa did was to gather as much of the powers of uh, Abakari as he could to pull it into his own office before the new guys settles in and this is now all this circular now that is uh sending round to power grab but then of course the first access to the president belongs to the chief of staff not to the secretary to the government of the federation but to the chief of staff because the chief of staff is the chief of staff of the president's staff so by a uh, definition by necessity of that position he has to have almost like a minute by minute interaction with uh, malam buhari effectively to say that oh malam buhari this is what is going on and that is not what is going on so he's the eyes and the ears of the president effectively within the government and the secretary to the government of the federation he is more of a federal appointee than anything else so uh Gambari, in effect, is more immediate to the president. And what they say about Buhari is that it's the last person that speaks with him that he goes with. Because, of course, you know, a lot of the people that are surrounding him, they are better educated, more intelligent, uh, a lot more savvy. And Buhari, of course, is easily led by these people. He will think he's strong-willed. And Buhari will tell you, of course, by himself, that he's not the most intelligent uh, person within that space or he's not the most learned, he's not the most anything. So he can be easily led by these people and the person uh, most poised to lead him is his chief of staff. We saw that by how excellently uh, Abakari just played the guy like a fiddle and the way he did play the guy like a fiddle is what is now coming out now with all of these now reversals that they are making on the appointments that were made by uh, Abakari. So now the battle for that position now, the eyes and the ears of Malam Buhari within the Nigerian structure is now something now that has been boiled down to two elements, Bos Mustafa and Ibrahim Gambari and daggers are drawn. So these people are going to fight it to the finish and there can be only one winner. That, that winner of course is going to be Ibrahim Gambari because this is an internationally experienced man and uh, Bos Mustafa is just one of those people that have sat in their village in the northern uh, parts of Nigeria and just continued to feast on the Niger Delta oil wealth. So come correct me if you know Boss Mustafa CV, but I am not aware that he has done anything outside of just collecting that oil money from the Nigerian state. So, but uh, Ibrahim Gambari, for or on the other hand, I have to uh, just add, he, he, I mean, we know his record from the United Nations, good or bad. We know his record from uh, previous regimes, good or bad. So this is a man that has both national and international experience. So now the battle between the SGF and the C. OF, uh, the acronyms are now fighting amongst themselves. So, who do you think is going to emerge the winner? Have picked my winner, you pick yours and come tell me all about it in the comment section. But before you do that, click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray. Bell button notifies you every time I uh, drop a new video. Then, simple question Who wins, Mustafa or Gambari? Come, let's talk about it in the comment section. So, I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation on with you in the comment section. But here, I say. Peace.